let's say I want to approximate this square root close to zero, right here. What would I do? Using that same idea, that, that same linearization we just got. And let me, let me write that down here. So we've got 1 plus x to the k is approximately equal to 1 plus k times x. Well, does this look does this look like this? Not really, but kind of, right? <coughs> what what's different about it? Is it raised to a power? It's raised to the one half, okay. So in this example, k is gonna equal one half, right? Let me rewrite it here. It's going to be something to the 1 half, and it's 1 plus, well, 5x to the 4th. So instead of 5x, we have 5x to the 4th. So how would I write that then? How would I write the linearization of that? What do I put in here? Alyssa? Wait, can you do the derivative? Nope. We already did the work for it uh, um, in the previous slide. Abdallah? What do you mean like 1 plus 1 half times 5x to the 4th? Yep. So when x is small, the value of the square root of 1 plus 5x to the 4th is going to be really close to 1 plus half of 5x to the 4th. So notice here that this approximation doesn't have anything to do with the square root. We can, we can approximate the value of this square root here uh, without, without needing to take a square root. And, and actually, this, this is going to be really accurate when x is small. And when I say x is small, maybe like 0.1. Uh, we wouldn't want to get a whole lot bigger than 0.1. Um, but it, that kind of depends on the second derivative. It depends on how much this function is actually curving, and that's going to depend on what k is. Um, same thing on this one. For values close to 0, when x is close to 0, we want to approximate 1 over 1 minus x. Um, how can I take this and write it in this form? 1 minus x to the negative 1. So that means that k is... means that k is negative 1. And instead of x here, what am I going to put? Negative x. Good. So the linearization, the approximate value of 1 over 1 minus x is going to be 1 plus, we said k is negative 1. We said x is negative x. And so it's just going to be 1 plus x. I want you to check this out. Um, I want you to plug into your calculator. 1 over 1 minus, well, we want to figure out what, let's say, 1 over 0.9 is. Okay. Um, the calculator says what? One point one repeating, right? So one point one 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 one, so on. All right. Um, what does our approximation say? One point one. Because on the bottom here, point nine is we would say x is point one, right? If we want to get point nine, we would take one minus point one. So x is 0.1 in this case, so we say 1 plus 0.1 is 1.1. That's pretty close, isn't it? And like I said, it would be even more accurate if we use a smaller value. If we put in 0.05, let's say we want to know what 1 over 0.95 is, that would, really, that would be really close to 1.05.
right? Okay, cool. You were checking me, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the, the smaller x is, the more accurate this is going to be. And, and this is just a special case of linearization where if we have a binomial 1 plus something um, raised to any power, we can approximate it fairly easily um, and get rid of the power, get rid of the exponent. And exponents, especially before we had calculators, which again, you guys have calculators now, but before we had them, uh, exponents were not easy to work with. So being able to get rid of the exponents was really